evening, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Okay, let's see again. Welcome. I'm ready to start now. Okay, welcome. This is session number two. The topic for today is time expression for regular activities.
Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. Yes, 10. Okay, I guess all of you had the material. Um, let me tell you the number of the page that we are going to start working on it today. Okay, we are going to start working on page number 10. But before that, let us do something else. I am going to check up the attendance later on. Okay, we are going to start with a, a memory game. What I'm going to do is just to, uh, you, what, what I need is that you take a look at the cards, pay attention and find the pairs. Okay. Let me see how many how many do we have now? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Well, I'm going to share with you the link of the page where you are going to. Okay, try to try to open it. It is possible for you to do it. No. Hello, tell me, tell me please if you are able to open the link. Necesito que me confirmen si pueden abrir el link o no. Yes, teacher. Okay.
Okay, what you are going to do is very simple. You have this uh, card right here. You are going to click on one of these. For example, if I do it here, he has lunch. Uh, where do you think that I can find the picture of this sentence? If somebody said, okay, let us click right here. No, it's wrong, right? And somebody uh, say the, the, the sentence in mind, open it again, and you are going to try to look for the picture of this sentence. No, it's not that one too, okay? I guess you are practicing now. Just tell me if you uh, understand exactly what you are going to do. You need to guess where is the another part. If you find the picture, later on you need to find where is the sentence related with the picture. For the reason the name is memory card. Okay, I guess I already have uh, enough people here in order that we can start now. You already practice. Okay, let us do the following. Okay, thank you a bit and Ingrid. Let us continue with this activity. I told you the number of the page 10. And what we need to do is resolve exercise number five. Complete the sentence below with one of the activities from the box. And then we can compare. For example, I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. This is number one. What we need to do is just to use one of these expressions in order to fill all the gaps that we have here. Lo que necesitamos hacer es simple llenar los espacios en blanco con las expresiones que tenemos en la parte de arriba.
try to do it. Okay, let me check out the attendance. Alejandra Elizabeth. Alejandra Elizabeth. Not here. Okay, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, Asalia. Melanie. Asalia Melanie is not here. Brenda Yvette. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Brenda Natalie. Brenda Natalie. Carlos Eliezer. I'm here. Okay. Um, Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Edith Adilia Present Emerson Adiel Present teacher Okay Welcome. Francisco Javier Present Okay, welcome uh, Ingrid Elizabeth Present teacher Okay. Uh, Smile Ernesto. It's not here. Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Okay, welcome. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Noel Amilcar. It's not here. Sandra Ivet. I'm here, teacher. And Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Welcome to all of you. Okay, let us continue with uh exercise number five. So who wants to resolve uh Number two, our secretary. Then she sent an uh, via email. <clears throat> Who wants to resolve that, that one? Hello? Our secretary? Which one is the right one? False clients. Could you read the whole sentence, please? Podría leer toda la oración, por favor. Uh, our secretary checked my email. Then she sends them via email. Okay. Um... What about number three? Oh, oh, okay, before we go to number three, uh, somebody else, 
have another option in a different way. Number three. Number three, please. I I check me may three a day. I use me lab to compute. Could could you repeat again? Read again, please. I check me may. Twice a day, I use my laptop computer. It's correct. Okay, I check my email. Twice a day, I use my laptop computer. Okay. Okay. Number number four. Number four. I had two every Monday at eight. Uh, uh, I have two uh, attend a meeting uh, every Monday at eight o'clock. Mm. Another options. I have write a report every Monday at eight o'clock. I have to. Write a report every Monday at eight o'clock. Write a report. Could be bad. We need to look for another option. Sure. Oh, I organize meetings every Monday at Eight o'clock. Could be two, but uh, maybe another option. Okay, number four. I'm still waiting for number four. Okay, I guess it's better if you say I had two. Great. To call. To call clients every Monday at eight. What about number five? Celia, the meeting take place in the auditorium. Teacher, in this case, I think it's number eight. Celia, 
organic meeting. The meeting take place in the laboratory. Porque ella organiza las se organiza las reuniones que se van a llevar a cabo durante el auditorio. Ah, ok. Ok. Could be Celia organize a meeting? Organize meeting. Could be. But also, we can say that Celia attend a meeting. Oh. The meeting takes place in the auditorium. Both of them could be correct. Okay. Celia, Celia attend a meeting. The meeting takes place in the auditorium. The meeting takes place in the auditorium. The meeting takes place in the auditorium. Okay, thank you. Let me go back to my presentation. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me move. Okay, we have a this share conversation here. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation and then practice with the partner. This conversation is between Sophia and Mario. Okay, Sophia started saying this way. What do you do every Monday morning? It's a question. What do you do every Monday morning? And Mario answered, I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I had to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also had to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. Check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, we are going to practice this conversation. So please try to listen the way how you are going to produce every sound. Okay, I'm going to read again. Okay, Sophia Starren said, what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I had to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also had to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do, actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Okay, any question? Question, question. Preguntas? Hello? No questions? No questions. No questions, teacher. Okay, uh, take a screenshot, please. Haga una captura, por favor. Vamos a hacer la conversación. In a very calm room, so please try to accept my invitation.
Okay, let me do it in this way. Fourteen is gonna be seven. Okay, five minutes is enough in order to do this, in order that you can practice. Okay, here we go. You are going to practice with somebody else. Just click on my invitation. Come on, I need that you accept my invitation in order that you can work with somebody else in the breakout room, please. Necesito que acepten mi invitación para que podamos trabajar con alguien más en la conversación. Tengo pendiente a Alejandro, Diana, Edith, Emerson. Julia. Okay, I'm going to move some of you. Hola. Are you practicing the conversation or not? Creo que se salió el compañero, no sé. No siento, ah, estoy, estoy en el trabajo y tenía que ir a la oficina. Ah, no sé. Sí. Ok, eh, seguimos. Sí, continuamos. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize a meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is a very important. 
Ya. Yeah. Solo seis segundos nos quedan. Ok, está bien. Sí, Gracias. Sí. Thank you. I need at least four people who wants to go for the conversation, no more than four now, because we need to move forward. Al menos dos parejas que quieran hacer la conversación y luego seguimos. Who wants to do it? Okay, Ingrid. Ingrid, eh, bueno, Francisco, pues, creo que se llama. ¿no? Sí, Francisco looks like he's uh, kind of busy because I guess um, he is working right now. Creo que Fran todavía está en su trabajo porque lo vemos ahí que está moviendo muchos documentos. Entonces, oh. habría que ver si está disponible. Sí, con gusto, teacher. Ok, ok. Ok, bueno. Uh, what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients. For the rest of the morning, what about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Actually, I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is a very important. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Uh, there are some words that you need to pay attention on it. For example, in the last part of Mario, Yes, I do. Actually, I check it once, listen, once or twice a day. Okay, this one is clients, call clients. Okay, somebody else wants to do it? Alguien más? Eh, a mí me tocó con Julia, teacher. Ok. Julia, are you ready? I'm not ready. Not there. Eh, ha Hi, hi. Eh, bueno, empiezo. Eh, what do you every Monday morning? I check my email and I call client. Eh, there is press of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. A meeting. I also have to organize meeting uh, every two Monday. How uh, how often do you check your mail? Do you check I every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or or twice days. Great! It is very it it is very important. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Okay, today we are going to talk about adverb of frequency. We use adverb of frequency to say how often we do something. Cuando hablamos de adverbio de frecuencia, lo vamos a usar para mencionar 
valga la redundancia, con qué frecuencia hacemos algunas cosas. And we have it here. We can start uh, from the bottom to the top. Never. That means that it's uh, zero, zero percent. Then we have rarely. It's like a, a 10 percent. Thousand. 20. Occasionally. Sometimes. Often. Usually, frequently, and always is about 100% of the time. I need that you get familiar with this um, adverb because we are going to use it during the class. Okay, I need that you repeat always. Always. Okay, try to produce the sound. Always. 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 Frequently, frequently, usually, usually, often, often, often sometimes, 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 occasionally, occasionally, seldom, seldom, seldom rarely, 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 never. Never. Okay, try to keep in mind. Try to keep in mind. If you want, uh, you can take a screenshot too in order that you can keep it with you. Puedes hacer una captura para que tenga esos datos y manejemos el porcentaje al que se refiere. No. Okay, the meaning in Spanish, I guess all of you know it, right? If we start from the bottom, si comenzamos desde la parte de abajo, never, tell me in Spanish. Never, never, never. What is the meaning? Nunca. Okay, yeah. readily. Mm, cada vez. Cada vez. Okay, another, another meaning? Alguna que otra vez, raramente, okay, seldom, seldom, casi nunca, Okay, could be con poca frecuencia. Okay, occasionally. Occasionalmente. Okay, sometimes. Algunas veces. Often or often. Sí. A menudo, teacher. Ah, ok. Eso equivale a a menudo es cuando algo se hace Así como en el buen salvadoreño, a cada rato, eso es óptimo. Hey. Ok, usually. Usualmente. Usualmente. Frequently. Frequentemente. And always. Siempre. Ah, ok. Any question? No. 
Tal vez es Shed y nos repite la pronunciación de Seldon. Y, y más que todo eso. Y la, la que le sigue del, del 10%, del 10 al porcentaje y 20% al porcentaje la pronunciación. Si me la podría repetir, por favor. Ok, I'm going to read those then. Ok, never. Never. Rarely. Seldom. Occasionally. Sometimes. Often. Or often. Bosses then are usually. Frequently. And always. Ellos son adverbios. Okay. I'm going to read the, this concept. The adverb of frequency answer the typical question starting with how often, how frequently. Los adverbios de frecuencia responden a la, típicamente a la pregunta que comienza con con qué frecuencia. Sí. A eso se refiere. Que frecuentemente. Ok, and we have some example. How often do you brush your teeth? ¿Qué dice la pregunta? How often do you brush your teeth? Tell me. ¿Qué significa? How often do you brush your teeth? Ya dijimos okay, el um, Ok. Creo que sería, ¿con qué frecuencia te lavas tus dientes? Ok. And the answer is, I always brush my teeth. Significando la respuesta. Eh, I always brush my teeth. Siempre my teeth. me lavo Eat. mi teeth. Eat. Beef. My teeth. Okay. Teeth. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, teeth. I always brush my teeth. My teeth. Sonido Z al final. Teeth. My teeth. Okay. Okay. Okay, number two. How often does your mother cook? How often does your mother cook? The answer is she readily cooks. As you can see right here, we are applying the rule that we have studied yesterday because we are talking about simple present. And for the reason we need to add inflection here, she readily cooks. Okay, question three. How often is Claudio late for class? The answer is... Somebody, somebody read the answer, please. He is never late for class. He is never late for class. ¿Qué dice en español la pregunta tres? a menudo Claudio llega tarde a su clase. Okay. ¿Y la respuesta? Eh, él nunca llega tarde a clase. A las clases. Okay, he's never late for class. 
she's never late for the class. Okay, so as you, as you can see, uh, the way that we use uh, adverb, uh, we can use it at the moment that we answer a question related with, uh, with this type of question. Okay, the position of this adverb is, take a look. We need to be clear, really, really clear about this, okay? Not one adverb of frequency go before all verbs or the main verb and after a form of the verb to be. Um, is and are. Entre paréntesis tenemos que dice que van antes del verbo principal o después del verbo to be. Ejemplo, si tengo forma del verbo to be, sería she is often late for class. Esa sería the right form. Or an example could be they are always late for class. Y como aquí menciona, dice antes del verbo, por ejemplo, she usually cooks. Este es el verbo principal. They usually cook. Y en el caso del de verbo to be, dice que va a ir después del verbo to be. Pero cuando hablamos del verbo to be, estamos hablando, what we are doing is just talking about the three different ways of form that we have uh, in order to use to be. Estamos hablando de las tres formas que tiene el to be, que son an, is, and are. Si hay una de esas en la oración, entonces va a ir justamente después. Y dice, he is often late for class, o they are always late for class. And the last example, she usually cooks, or they usually cook. Okay. Try to keep in the mind, please. Trate de mantener en su mente este tips. Que va antes del verbo principal o después de la forma del verbo to be. Okay, we have the knock number two. Deal, done, and doesn't. We use the adverb of frequency. After this and before the verb. Take a look. We don't usually travel. She doesn't usually travel. ¿Se comprende eh, este ejemplo? Cuando tengamos estas dos expresiones, ya sea don and das, vamos a usar el adverbio de frecuencia después de ellos. Así como este, aquí está don y está das. Entonces, inmediatamente van los adverbios de frecuencia. Y van a ir antes del verbo. El caso del verbo sería este, travel. En travel. Si fuese negativo. But when we talk about positive, you have it there. Okay, based on this information, I would like to have some uh, example related with that. Antes de continuar, me gustaría tener algunos ejemplos donde hagamos esto en forma positiva. Si hay forma del be, van a ir después de la forma del be. Y si no hay forma del be, van a ir antes del de verbo principal. Ok. Let us see what you have there. You can give me some example related with that. Who wants to do it? Tell me. Dime, 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 dime. Ok. 
हेलो Will you give me some examples how to use it? Let me show you, show you again how you are going to do it. As I told before, we need to follow this order. And the explanation is here very clear. Also, you have it in Spanish. También la tenemos en español. Y dice que si vamos a usar un adverbio de frecuencia, siempre va a ir donde? Antes del verbo principal o después del verbo to be. En este caso, de las formas del verbo to be, que puede ser am, is, o are. In this case, we have a B form here. Tenemos forma de el verbo B acá, por eso va después de la forma. She is often late for class, or they are always late for class. En el siguiente, como no tengo en ninguna forma del B, entonces va antes del verbo principal. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? En este caso, cooks. She usually cooks. Or they usually cook. Questions? Teacher, una pregunta. Por ejemplo, oh. decir, I am, I am usually drink a coffee in the morning. En ese caso, que prácticamente lleva implícito verbo, ¿cómo sería? Porque es como decir, yo usualmente. Tomo café en las mañanas. Sería sin el I am, ¿verdad? Solo sería I usually drink a coffee in the morning. Ok, ahí ya no, ya no tendría que usar la forma del be. Por ejemplo, uh, some, somebody could say, I usually leave my house at 7 o'clock. Ok. See? Okay, teacher. Gracias. Okay, okay. Somebody else? Okay. Okay. Or if you don't have any question, just give me some example. Si no hay preguntas, me pueden dar algunos ejemplos. No, you can do it, you can do it. Podría ser, teacher, I never walk at the work. Yo nunca camino al trabajo. No. I? I never walk to the work. I never walk. Walk. I never walk to my shop. I never walk to my job. Ok. Sí, sería en ese orden porque el verbo principal es walk. Walk. Ok, somebody else wants to give me an example.
Okay, let me show you here. Okay, you have some examples there. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read the program? Un voluntario que nos lea la primera, por favor. I, I always go to school by, by the bus. Okay, I always go to school by bus. Ahí, ahí no hay donde perderse porque el verbo principal lo tenemos acá. Ahí sería el principal dicho de always go. go. Ese es el verbo principal, entonces va antes del verbo principal. Pues es negativa. Si fuese negativa, dice I don't, I don't usually get, get up at seven. Cuando tengo don o doesn't, va a ir después de ellos dos y antes del verbo. En este caso. Ahí está. El verbo principal es get up. I don't usually get up at seven. Usualmente no me despierto. Ahí sería no me levanto. A las siete. Porque ahí la traducción dice despierto, pero es get up is different, you know. Okay, the next one. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? I don't usually get up at seven. Okay, thank you. The next one. I sometimes have lunch in a restaurant. Okay, a veces almuerzo en un restaurante. Observe que es bien muy simple. Eh, este es el verbo principal cuando no tengo ninguna negación no hay problema entonces va a ir entre el pronombre personal y el verbo principal va a ir ahí si acaso hubiese una parte negativa como don o doesn't va a ir justamente después y antes del verbo veamos el último ejemplo I seldom had breakfast rara vez tomo El desayuno. You take, uh, you, you need to, to pay attention about this. I got the personal pronoun here, the adverb, the main verb, and the complement here. Ahí está muy claro. Tenemos el pronombre, tenemos el adverbio, el verbo principal, y luego el complemento. Ese es el orden. Okay, now I guess uh, you are able to give me some example related with your work if you want to talk about that. Ahora es su turno de poder crear algunas oraciones usando los adverbios de frecuencia. Ya vimos la estructura y el orden, cómo se usan. Okay, and all ears, les escucho. Who wants to do it? Oh. I usually drink coffee in with my dinner. 
Okay, you usually um, you usually drink coffee. No, no, no. Okay, thank you. Somebody else. Sí, ¿quién más? I don't usually do exercise. Exercise. Okay. You don't usually. Okay. I don't usually. I don't. <laughs> okay, somebody else. Somebody wants to give me uh, another example. Remember that we have a, a variety of adverbs, and that way uh, you can show the, the percentage of your activities. Dependiendo del adverbio que utilice, así es el porcentaje que yo quiero mostrar. For example, somebody uh, can say, I always stay late in my job. Could be a stay, not a right, stay. Permanecer hasta muy tarde en su trabajo is different. That a right late. Que llegar tarde. Okay, I'm waiting for your examples. Sirve, I, sirve para I, sus ejemplos. I usually go home at say six. Again, again, again. I usually go home of six two. Eso es como decir, usualmente me voy a me, me voy a casa a las seis treinta. Seis, seis treinta. Del trabajo, ¿verdad? Okay. Go home of six two. I never go to work in driver. Okay, I never go to work. Tell me. Pero desactivo el micro, Esmeralda. Sí, driver, eh, gracias, compañero. Eh, taxi. Uh, I never go to work by taxi. By taxi. Yes. Uh, by taxi. Okay, try to open the following link. Click on it, please. Click on it. And try to find um, frequency advert in, in, in the in that activity. Pudieron abrir el link? Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, usted compartió un link acá en el chat. Yes. A, a mí no me sale. 
Really? Ah, ya, ahorita sí, ya. Ok. What you are going to have is um, something like this. And here I need to find out uh, frequency adverb. Aquí necesito encontrar uh, adverbios de frecuencia. Sometimes. Okay. okay, pretty easy, pretty easy. Where, where I can find usually? Usually it's in the primera. Okay, this is, a, we call it row. This is row. This is row and this is column, right? Llamarle pilas a esto y columnas a esto. The second column. Eh, después sigue sometimes teacher sometimes abajo where, está sometimes where where I can find it ah okay I got you right here uh -huh. yes ahí. okay next never está Tell en me. la cuarta Tell me in English, tell me in English. Never. Okay, what is it? I know what it is, but, but you need to give me the, the explanation in English. Remember this is a row one, two, three, four, five. Four. Four. Column. This is column one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Column uh, six. Column one, number six. Okay. Never. Never. What else? Okay. Really? Is in the second column in the third. Um, second column? Yes. In the third. Yes. For the fila? How do you say fila, teacher? Okay. okay, hold on. Vamos a. Voy a mutearlos a todos. Solo abre el número porque tengo un feedback ahí, por favor. Ok, continúe, creo que era Ivet. In the second column, in the third. Row, row, row. Row, rarely. Eso es, eso es fila y esto es column. In the second column, in the third row. Second column is this. In the third, yes. Rarely up, down. Okay, down, rarely, okay. Okay, rarely. What else? ¿Qué más? Like we have only just four. Tenemos solo cuatro. We need to look for something else. Necesitamos más. In, in, ¿Cómo se dice diagonal, teacher? En inglés. In diagonal. Para decirle que encontré una, pero está en diagonal. It's in the. It's in the column four. Column four. File. File. Eh, Fila, 
Pila 5. Ok, time is over, time is over. Se nos acabó el tiempo. Tenemos tiempo, solo hicimos cuatro. I don't know if you practice. The snap, uh, you can say the, the, the link and then you can practice. Si no, usted puede guardar el link y usted puede practicarlo. Teacher, mande el link al chat del grupo. Porfa. Okay. Teacher. But I'm going to send you another one. Okay, tell me. Y todos estos, estas actividades o estos juegos, ¿dónde los podemos encontrar? Solo pueden ir guardando el, el, los líneas que les voy enviando. Por ejemplo, ahorita les envío uno, un quiz, miren. Ahí va. Click on it. Dele click sobre el quiz. ¿Pudo? Sí, teacher. Sí, pude. What about the rest? Okay, I'm going to show you. Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to show you. Yes, one. Okay, you have it here. They go to the movies often. Which one is the right one? A, B, or C? ¿Cuál será la correcta? De acuerdo al orden que ya expliqué. They often go, they go to the movies often, or they go often to the movies. Which one is the right one? De acuerdo al orden que ya vimos. Which one is the right? ¿Cuál es la correcta? A, B, O, C. Well, maybe you are uh, solving by yourself. Okay, try to do it now. Resuelvan, resuelvan entonces cada uno. Tomás, you can let me know, please. Tan pronto finalice, me, me avisa, por favor. Son 15 ejercicios que tenemos, oraciones en ese ejercicio.
Did you finish? Okay, Brenda, thirteen out of fifteen. Okay. Somebody else? Did you finish? Yes or no? Just let me know, please. Finalizaron? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, then. What about the rest? Finished, teacher.
finish the chart. Okay, I guess uh, we, we need to continue. Okay, I need uh, four different bounds here to continue reading these sentences. Necesito cuatro voluntarios que me lea cada uno una oración de estas. Yo leo el número uno, Tisha. Ok, ok, do it, do it, do it, do it. I always go to the school by bus. Ok, thank you. Next, somebody else. I don't usually grab uh, seven. At seven. At seven. Okay, at seven. Thank you. Next. Who's next? I sometimes I long in and the restaurant. The restaurant, okay. And the last one? I seldom have break breakfast. Okay, rara vez tomo el desayuno. Okay, thank you. And now is your turn. You are going to rewrite each sentence with the alpha of frequency in parentheses and its correct position. Example, I play tennis on Sunday and the alpha of frequency is often. Okay, and I'm going to say I often play tennis on Sunday. Okay, pueden hacer una captura. Y vamos a reescribir estas oraciones de forma correcta. Van a tener 10 minutos en el futuro 3. ¿Hicieron la captura? ¿Yes o no? Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. Ok, está working. Okay. Microphones, microphones. Don't go get distracted the way when you are going to put it. No se les olviden las instrucciones, por favor. Eh, la estructura ya está dada.
Any question? Okay, who wants to answer uh, the number one? We are, we are often in contact with my sister. With my sister, with my sister. With my sister. Okay. En este caso, como tenemos forma del B, entonces va a ir justamente después, después. de los verbos principales. Sí. Ok, thank you. Number two. Peter usually doesn't get up before seven. Ok, Peter doesn't usually get up before seven. Ok, thank okay. you. 
Acordémonos que siempre va después si tengo ton doesn't y antes del verbo, que es el que está en rojo. Ok, number three. Dice la frase que es negativa, eh, la preposición, o sea, la negación va primero que el adverbio. Yes. Ok. Eso anótenlo por ahí que es así. Ok. Ok, number three. Uh, our friends often um, our friend often most most write test ¿Cuál es el verbo principal ahí? Right. Right, okay. Cuando no tenemos forma del be dice que va a dónde? Antes del verbo. Ah, ok. Our friend most often write test. Ok. Thank you. Number four. Number four. They something go swimming in the lake. They go swimming in the lake. Okay. They. They something. Sometimes. Go, sometimes. Sometimes. They sometimes go swimming in the lake. They sometimes go swimming in the lake. Okay. Thank you. Number five. Number five. Peggy. And friends are usually late. No. Okay, you are reading number six. Uh, we missed number five. Perdón, sí, me pasé a las seis. <laughs> okay, no problem. Peggy and friends usually are usually late. Okay. We need to put it after the B form. Okay, what about number five? Number The weather is bad in November. The weather is bad in November. Where, where I'm going to put uh, the other? Before is or after is? After is. Oh, okay, after is. The weather is always bad in November. Mm -hmm. Before number seven, number seven, I have met him before. See. Where I'm going to put it, before or after the main verb? Donde lo pongo? Adelante o después del verbo principal? Okay. 
Okay, quedaría así. I, ¿no? I never have met him before. I have never. I have never met him before. before. Okay. Okay, and the last one, John watches TV. John seldom. Yeah, watch seldom TV. watches TV, okay. Okay, thank you. If you apply the rule, you did a great job, okay? Se aplicó las reglas. Hizo un gran trabajo. Okay, now... Uh, how often do you, you are going to work in pair and you are going to create the three questions and you are going to write the answer. Okay, let me see. Okay, comment, I guess it's now. Wow, I got only 14. I'm going to recreate the group. And you are going to have five minutes. What you are going to do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Hello? How often do you? Vamos a crear tres preguntas usando el how often do you? ¿Con qué frecuencia usted? Y la otra persona da la respuesta. Ok, here we go. No se les olvide escribir las preguntas, por favor. Y también las respuestas. Ok, acepte mi invitación. Me da un no sé si solo yo, es que me mandó al, a, la, a la actividad anterior y luego me regresó aquí. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know why. Yo le di unirme y me re, y me mandó a la actividad. Luego regresé aquí. Okay, porque no la puedo ni ver. Parece que no se unió. La voy a mover al 7. Dele aceptar, por favor. Uh, 
हेलो हेरी हेलो एरिस अदिलिया वाला एरिस वाला एरिस इसका पराई Okay, who wants to share the, the questions? Quien quiere compartir sus preguntas? Al menos dos parejas por el team. Okay. Me eh, Julia. Eh, con um, Brenda, creo. Brenda y Beth. Okay. Um, eh, formulamos. Eh, how do you often? How do you often to visit your parents? And uh, how do you often check your email? Okay, repeat the question. And um, how did you often check your email? And uh, how did you often to visit your parent? Okay, how often do you, how often do you? How often do you visit your parent? How often? How often do you visit your parents? I usually visit my parents. Sería la respuesta. Yes. Ahí tenemos la estructura. Vea. How often do you visit your parents? Then what about the answer? ¿Cómo, cómo fue la respuesta? I usually, I usually visit my parents. I usually visit them once a month. Would be an answer. Okay. okay, recordemos la posición de donde van los adverbios. Okay, somebody else wants to share the, the question and answer? Alguien más quiere compartir sus preguntas y respuestas que tiene?
Hola. ¿No? Okay, uh, before we finish, I would like to make a review related with the topic. Okay, what do you remember about? Okay, antes de que hagamos el cierre, hagamos como un repaso así rápido que recuerda de los adverbios de frecuencia. Tell me the position. And maybe the percentage of, of son of them. Okay, Esmeralda. ¿Qué uh, recuerdo de los, yes, de los yes. adverbios? Yes. I rem remember. Okay. Um, eh, si es. Eh, antes del verbo principal. Si okay. no está con el verbo to be. Y si está con el verbo to be, va después. Si hay una forma del verbo be, va a ir después de la forma del be y antes del verbo principal. Del verbo principal. Ok. Ok, thank you. ¿Alguien más? La otra parte negativa. El, la, eso le va a mencionar que en la parte negativa siempre va primero la negación y luego el adverbio. Ok, Brenda. Aunque no sé, ¿será que solamente yo la estoy oyendo allá muy lejos? O, o no sé si sí, todos la oímos así. Todos me escuchan lejos. <risa> ok, ahí creo que sí me oigo más. más ok, más. sí, es que hay que también que, que el adverbio va después de la negación, ya sea de don't, doesn't, o do, don't, okay. o... Okay, I, I got you fine. Ok, thank you. Ustedes pueden ir trabajando ya las páginas del libro en el ejercicio que estuvimos haciendo hoy de la página 10. Incluso la número 11. Ya pueden trabajarla. Y eh, la número 12 también. Para que vayamos y algo importante uh, antes de pasar la lista es que vayan entrando a la plataforma para ir resolviendo los ejercicios que están ahí. Si alguien no lo ha podido hacer, eh, tiene que eh, por ahí en el correo que les enviaron, ahí está el link para poder entrar. Qué chévere. Eh, siempre es la misma cuenta la que uno tiene para entrar a la página. Sí. Ah, bueno. Con la que se registró. Ajá. Ok. Bueno. Avancemos en eso para que no nos agarre el tiempo. Ok. I'm going to check out the attendance. Alejandra Elizabeth. No. No está. Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Cristiana Victoria, eh, Azalia Melanie. Hola, hoy no la vi. Eh, Brenda y Beth. I am here, teacher. Ok, thank you. Brenda Natalie. Brenda Natalie. No. Carlos Eliasa. I hear. Ahí está. Ok. Eh, Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Ok, is there. Uh, Edith Adilia. Present. Eh, Emerson Adiel. Not here. Francisco Javier. 
present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ismael Ernesto. Ismael Ernesto. Here. Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Amilcar is now here. Sandra Ivette. Thank you, teacher. And Sonia Smeral. Present teacher. Okay. Siguiendo el orden del one by one, los diez minutos de la tutoría serían para Ana Victoria. Así es que usted me irá al final de la sesión. Okay. For the rest, thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. Ok, Ana Victoria. Hola, casi no tengo carga, pero sí, bueno, eso de los adverbios casi no lo escuché bien. Solo he anotado dos reglas, las últimas que mencionaron en el repaso y quisiera aclararlas y saber si hay otras más. Eh, la primera, que el adverbio va después del verbo vi y antes del verbo principal. Ok. Y la otra que tengo es que... Primero va la negación y luego el adverbio. Perfecto. No sé si hay otra más. No, en, generalmente son solo eso, al menos a este nivel. Uh -huh. sí. ¿Y qué más? Bueno, al principio no sé todavía. Y hoy de último, como venía manejando, no, no sé aparte de los adverbios como para poder repasar esta parte, porque sí siento que me queda, voy a quedar dando un poco ahí en las nubes con este tema. Pero vio, vio el porcentaje de cada uno de ellos, ¿o no? Sí, hice una captura de pantalla de este todavía. Es que hoy esta última parte, como ya venía manejando, no, podía, no venía tan atenta de él, solo escuchando un poco. Okay. Sí tengo lo de los porcentajes, bueno, y lo de la traducción de algunos nada más, los otros los voy a buscar en, ahí, en el traductor, <risa> para saber el significado. Ah. Creo que este Seldon, Seldon. Ese no, no, ese sí es algo nuevo para mí. Los otros ya los había escuchado o visto. ¿Qué, qué significa eso? De veras. Ok, permítanme un segundito. Quiero, quiero compartirlos ahí con usted. No, no, conectar aquí no puedo. 3% de batería, dice. Ajá, esa tengo, una captura de pantalla. Ok, ¿qué es lo que no comprende de ellos? Ah, el, no, este, es Seldon, ¿qué es el, lo que significa? Ah, el significado. Never, ajá, nunca, rara vez, y eso. Rara vez es en español. Igual que el otro, el rara, rara, rara. Los dos significan lo mismo. Eh, lo que sucede es que como nosotros, el cerebro nuestro asocia lo, 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 lo previamente establecido, ¿no? Uh -huh. Como ya vemos la palabra rarely. Ah, y... Ajá, estoy pensando que eso significa raras veces. 
<ríe> ¿Qué significa entonces? Entonces, eh, por eso es que acordémonos que el español es bastante amplio. Uh -huh. ¿sí? Entonces, sí. Eh, ¿cómo se llama? Ese seldon lo podemos traducir como con poca frecuencia. Con poca frecuencia. Sí. ¿Y el otro? Y ya el otro, a uh, ese generalmente, como ya le dije, lo asociamos uh -huh. a, a lo que ya tenemos referencia en español, raramente. Ahí sería alguna que otra vez. Alguna que otra vez. Sí, alguna que otra vez. Podría ser como una, una otra traducción. Con uh -huh. la frecuencia, pocas veces por rareza. Esas serían como... Uh -huh. Sinónimos. Como algunos sinónimos. Uh -huh. sí. sí. Sí, de ahí los otros creo que no tengo problema. Ok. Ok. Eh, ahí lo que habría que hacer notar es el porcentaje que uh -huh. tiene cada uno. Rarely 10% and seldom uh, 20%. Eso quizás sería como lo más notable, la relación entre las sí. dos, las dos palabras, los dos adverbios. Ok. Ok. I don't know if you have another question. Más que todo era esa. Bueno, voy a repasar las oraciones. Voy a revisar en el libro para... Sí, porque de estos ejercicios seguramente le van a aparecer en la plataforma. Entonces ya necesita tener muy claro el uso. Y la posición para que de una pegue en el. Sí, en los de la que se van a hacer, sí. Voy a, bueno, voy a tratar de revisar la obra, si no mañana temprano quizás okay. para ir avanzando. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Thank you very much. Si ya no hay preguntas, muchas gracias por no. su tiempo. And good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Ok, bye.